of the first things we learn to do on the guitar is to alternate our index and middle fingers. Imagine if we just played everything with just the one finger. It become very tired. Uh, we've got more than one finger, so it does make sense to use two at a time at least. There are implications for introducing the third, the ring finger, um, but basically alternating means that you can have fluid, balanced playing and you can also increase speed easily because you can double up obviously your fingers are da, 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 da. Um, so the exercise to become confident alternating index and middle is really straightforward we anchor the thumb on the fourth string keep it well to the left place the index on the E string bring the index to the palm of the hand as it does that the middle kicks out and then plants on the top E. And then as that comes to the palm of the hand, the index kicks out, hovers one centimetre away, plants on the string and repeat. So it's, the action is one, plant, two to the palm, three, plant with the middle, four to the palm. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, So one thing to remember is the fingers should be rubbing together as you're playing, not open like that. They're very um, wieldy like that, very awkward and not very strong. They work much better when they're actually close to each other and touching as they brush past. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So that form of planting is the best way to exercise. However, as you will notice, here we are playing staccato, which is wonderful if you want to play staccato, but we, long term, we don't want to do that. This is just the very initial stage to get the fingers used to that. And as soon as they're used to it, we lose the planting and we hover instead so that we can focus on legato smooth playing. One thing to look out for is not to just move the finger from the tip joint. It must come from the big knuckle. And that's why I suggest when you're starting out, you bring the finger all the way to the palm. And that gives you a very good tone. Um, it gives you a much stronger attack. But in reality, the more you play, you realize that that isn't a practical stroke to move it three, three centimeters to the palm. But once that big knuckle is used to moving and you do a small movement, it will still be, it will still be a good stroke. We just want to avoid just bending the end joints and that's where the, the stroke just originating there or, or just there, it's not, it, it's the whole finger. So once index and middle are really fluid and you're very confident at using them, then middle and ring should also be utilised. So obviously we want all fingers to be independent and we want to be able to use them whenever necessary. So now we practice middle, ring, middle, ring, planting again. Now the other two fingers, E, the, the pinky, the little finger, and index nicely curled okay so middle ring we don't want them like that creating tension just nice and relaxed okay and exactly the same once you're familiar with the planting and your fingers have perfect position hover and bring them to the palm and then of course index and ring So generally, I would say that you use index and middle for most sort of single line runs. Um, however, when it comes, when you come to wanting a consistent tone, um, exactly the same sound from every note, say it's a repeated single note, it's common practice to use one finger and not to alternate. An example of this is my cello is adagio in D minor. I play the first section with just my middle finger. Compare 
to index and middle. So just using the middle finger to repeat a note gives a consistent tone, whereas index and middle there are slight fluctuations, a slight difference in weight, uh, the, the nail angle might be slightly different, I mean, it's minuscule differences, but you can hear the difference. So, um, so basically, even though you say, okay, my go-to stroke, index and middle alternating, you do break the rules, of course, I mean, that's what they're there for, um, for the sake of the music. Thank you.